Welcome to this video tutorial brought to you by EnvisionCAD. In this tutorial we will drape an image to a surface and then we will also create a 3D PDF from that draped surface. To begin we're going to open up our raster manager and in this example we're going to be attaching a raster image that does not have any coordinates assigned to it so we're going to have to also move and stretch it to get it into place. So I'm placing it interactively right now. I'm just going to get it into the screen there it is placed, and I do have a few um, stampable points that I can use here. So I'm going to do a move raster image, and then I'm going to use the little handles or grips to actually stretch it. And now I've got it in the right location, placing it interactively. Then what I'm going to do is make sure that draping column is checked on in the raster manager so it can be draped. And then I also need to go to my settings pull down and go to rendering and open up my, my materials editor. I need to load a specific palette. It's dcdrape.pal. Once that palette is loaded, then I need to assign it to the triangles that are or mesh in my DGN file. Now that it's been assigned, it's on level default color zero. And if I change my display style to a smooth rendered view, you'll see how the image is actually draped now onto the surface. I don't need those temporary snap points. I'm going to delete those. And now I've got the image draped on the surface. I'm going to rotate this in 3D so you can see what that maybe will look like. A little more relief in this one than the uh, other example if you've watched our other video on this topic. If I go back to the top view, I'm going to now print it to a 3D PDF. So I'm going to change the paper size to an ANSI D size, then maximize it to the uh, paper size, and then check on print to 3D. This is, is going to create the 3D PDF file. When I hit print, I'm going to save it as a PDF document, and the PDF document is going to be loaded automatically. I can choose from the saved views that were in my DGN file, so I can quickly navigate through this drawing, or I can go to a camera setup, and then within the PDF, I can actually rotate the view. Once I start rotating the view, other options in the PDF viewer is I can change the lighting, so I can increase and decrease the lighting as needed. And then you have your 3D PDF. For more tips and tutorials, please visit our website, envisioncad.com. Thanks for watching.